So you guys have asked us to make a bunch of different inserts and we have a lot of different boxes, which means we need lots of different inserts. Uh, so we gotta start somewhere. And my thought is maybe we will show you a series of inserts that we have designed and then you guys will pick one. And uh, I'll do this over and over again for different boxes and different styles of inserts. And I'll just show you a bunch of different options. You'll pick one, we'll make that one. It will become a standard uh, insert for our various boxes. And uh, we'll just keep doing that until you guys get sick of it or whatever. Um, uh, and uh, to start with, they will always be just plain white inserts, but in the future, we could make them printable uh, if, if there's enough demand for that sort of thing. So uh, let's just start with this first one. Let's do uh, medium stout boxes. So let's, let's take a look here at this, uh, this box right here. This is medium stout. So on the top there, there's a spot for a tarot sized deck. And on the bottom, there is a, just a bigger spot. You could fit jumbo cards, but you can fit all kinds of parts or, or anything else that you might like in there. So that would, we'll call that A. And then option B here, uh, three decks of poker cards that you could fit uh, kind of in there, uh, plus a spot on the side for parts or pens or, or whatever. And all of these options, I should say, also have a lip at the top so that they will be big enough to fit a board in them. Uh, so we can, in the future, we'll have options that are tall. They go all the way to the top, so you don't have room to fit a board. But as you can see right here, for example, there's room to fit a board on top. Uh, so that's option A there. Option B, now let's look at option C. So this one, uh, as you can see here, is uh, different sizes. So you could have a uh, two poker decks on the right-hand side and then little spots for parts plus the... Uh, uh, plus the room on the top for the board. Uh, so there's that sort of design. Uh, and then there's this sort of design here, which is, uh, this is a little bit cheaper option because this actually uses less paper, um, but it's, uh, it's similar to ones that we already have for other box sizes. Uh, but it would be, uh, again, something here where you could set, uh, you know, two jumbo decks next to each other uh, and you'd have room in there for, or one, uh, one jumbo deck and, and parts, you know, that sort of thing, with still a board on top. So A, where we've got tarot in a big space. B, where we've got three poker-sized spaces. Uh, C, where we've got two poker-sized spaces and uh, the uh, two little spaces on the side. And then uh, D, where we have kind of two jumbo spaces. Uh, which one is most interesting to you? The one with the most votes is going to uh, get produced. So again, A, tarot and a big space, B, three poker spaces and a sidebar, uh, C, two poker spaces and two littler spaces, and D, two kind of jumbo spaces. So which one, A, B, C, or D?